Well, there have been developments. This is the new print enclosure, aka cardboard box. It's got a little cheap thermometer uh, display there. Um, another chunk of my uh, much used emergency blanket. And inside is the printer. I've got a little lashed up lamp here. A heat sink, 10 watt, allegedly. Um, and there's the printer in there. And it's the inside of the box is also lined with that emergency blanket for thermal protection. Round the back here, the filament enters through a small hole in the in the cardboard box. And this is what's been going on inside. It's a partially finished um, box, which I downloaded from Thingiverse Stackable Box. Um, but really, I stopped it because um, I had to go and do something. I don't really want the box anyway. Um, but it's a good example of something that's got long, flat surfaces, a long, flat base, and pointy corners. So it's a good candidate for um, miserable warping. But I think, as you can see, there is not the slightest hint of warp on this. So I'm very much encouraged. I covered, this is a glass bed, which um, I just got a piece of glass and had someone cut it for me. Thank you, Rose. Um, and it's covered in blue sticky masking tape, which is not scotch, by the way. Did the um, rubbing alcohol thing. Um, it didn't go tacky at any point. But um, whether it's the tape or the box or the combination of the two, the very good news is I now have a way of printing things which don't warp. And that um, opens up whole new avenues. There's no part cooler, part cooling fan on the machine at all. So let's have a little bit, uh, a look at this in a bit more detail. Before I've never had any trouble getting anything off, but <laughs> well now I see why it works. It's um, it's very firmly stuck. So this is a new uh, a new game, and of course I am on a glass. Uh, plate here, so I think I'll have at this with a blade. Hmm. The skirt comes up. I don't know if every every layer, every time you do this, you um, put a new layer of tape down or how that works. Oh yeah, that's a real pig. Will it soak off? I don't want to force that. That's really a something of a monster. So a new problem, new solution. And that one door opens and another one slams in your face. <laughs> it's all part of the fun. Well, that wasn't so bad. Um, I ran it under the tap. I got one of these scrapers underneath um, a couple of corners and eventually she let go. Um, The brim is coming off. The brim is off. It's quite a thin box. But really, that is as flat as the proverbial pancake. It's perfectly well behaved. There is no lifting whatsoever. It's not a very good contrasting surface there. Let's, does that help? No lifting. This is job done. I will probably try a print without the enclosure and I'll try a print with the enclosure but without the tape. But that's, I mean, you look, now I can make boxes. Now I can make uh, project boxes um, to my exact specifications. And Oh, I can make them with the holes already in them. I won't have to cut the holes as I've been doing um, to date with a Dremel or Dremoid. Um, so this is um, the dawning of a brave new world. <laughs>